I was very worried that I was losing my mom. So Dr. Eshte puts Lois on a drug to stabilize her blood pressure. They cocked her bed down like this, and this is her head, and her feet were in the air. And they told us that this should help regulate her blood pressure. But while doctors tackle this problem, Lois's infection is still running rampant. We knew that rapid action was needed. To stop it from spreading further, doctors may have to take extreme measures. She was probably looking at a possible amputation of her arm. It's her right arm. Mom's a cook. Take her right arm and you take her life away. Overwhelmed, the family turns to their faith for help. I remember my pastor coming to pray with me. It was a Sunday morning. I remember that he needed to be behind the pulpit, not praying with me at the hospital. And I say, well, you know, I must be dying. I told the Lord his will be done, but I wasn't ready yet. Finally, Dr. Ashtay receives the results of Lois's blood work and it leads her to a stunning diagnosis. The final cultures did come back, showing that Lois had Vibrio vulnificus in her blood. Vibrio vulnificus is a flesh-eating bacteria. We were shocked. I think at this point, everybody started crying. Inside Lois's body, the Vibrio bacteria colonize her arms, releasing toxins that cause the tissue to decay. The bacteria multiply at an alarming rate, polluting her entire bloodstream, leading to Lois's bizarre skin swelling, blisters, and low blood pressure. Ultimately, the infection can lead to organ failure and death. I was afraid we were going to bury my mom. What makes the Vibrio vulnificus bacteria so deadly is that they're able to evade the body's immune system, hiding themselves from the white blood cells sent out to stop them. As a result, surgery is sometimes the only course of action. But that is one of the better case scenarios, as 50% of those infected with Vibrio vulnificus will die. Mom's arm was literally being eaten alive by this Vibrio. It was spreading fast, and if they didn't act fast, then we were going to lose her. 